Okay, everyone, here I'm going to do an uh, opening of a package that I ordered from Amazon. I'm going to be giving uh, Spanish dance classes, and um, I ended up ordering a um, Capizio Men's One Inch Standard Ballroom Shoe. Um, they had salsa ones and all this other stuff, but I wanted to try something different. And uh came in today, and I saw a lot of different reviews, people saying that the sizes were slightly off, um, they were too tight, or all that fun stuff. Um, and I'm a size 13 foot, yeah, I have a, I'm 6'2", so I'm, you know, I need a big shoe. I didn't want to get a size 14, um, although I did want to go slightly bigger in case the reviews were true. I really don't have the time to send the package back to change, exchange the shoe and all that fun stuff. So, uh, I got a 13 and a half though. I was afraid if I got a 14, I'd end up looking like I had like clown shoes on or something, you know, something that wasn't proportionate to my, to my height and, and everything. So, uh, I just got this from, from my front, from the doorstep. As you can see it, uh, it is sealed. This was delivered from Kentucky. Um, has a Kentucky address up there. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother showing that. It's not necessary. But let's. Uh, I'm gonna open this up now. And of course, I'm using my phone. So I'm gonna try the best that I can with one hand, without losing sight of the package. All right, opened up fairly easily. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's see if there's anything written on the box. There's nothing written on the box. It's just a plain, simple box. Nothing special about it. Just a scan code on the side here, which is not important. Now, opening up the box, typical of any shoe, has the little bags on the side here, and there is a shoe. Bring it over to some light here so you can kind of see. Um, it's very light, very light, expected of a, which is expected of a, of a dance shoe, it's not very heavy, um, suede, uh, suede soles here, and the heel, and that is a one inch heel, which is like perfect for what I'm, uh, for the dancing that I'll be teaching and everything, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. All right, I'm going to untie the shoe now, and um, hopefully I won't have to relace this. I can just uh, put it on. I want to be able to put this on and test it out, because if it's going to be too tight, then probably what I'm going to end up doing is wearing it around the house to kind of break it in, stretch it out a little bit. Being that I have hardwood floors, shouldn't be too bad on, on the shoe. I can tell already... Now this is, this is their wide, and you can see how incredibly slim, <laughs> that's like not wide at all. Um, ah, but, you know, before I, before I say anything derogatory about it, let's try it on, give it the benefit of the doubt, and uh, what the hell, this lace comes all the way down here. Holy mackerel. All right. Um, give me one second. I'm going to undo these shoelaces. Can't do it with one hand. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I loosened up the shoelaces. And I did end up needing to uh, relace them. Because uh, how it was laced. Like the string that... The lace that came out of here went all the way down and across. So, yeah. I had to redo it. Um, and I left plenty of play there so that, um, uh, when I put the shoe on, um, it's not all that tight and everything. I mean, it, it's a very nice looking shoe though. Now, of course, I do my laces, uh, inverted. Um, I don't come through, loop it outward and then come around. I do it from the ins um, I do it from the outside in on each one. That way when the I get to the very end of it, 
the lace is coming out the bottom and not the top. I just feel that it's more presentable, especially once you tie the shoe. Instead of having all this stuff dangling from the top, it can be easily tucked in and hidden so that way it's not that exposed. So I have that. I'm going to get the socks that I'll be wearing with this is going to be just your regular dress socks. Um, going to be thin. Um, and that will be even for the winter time. I'll also be wearing the same kind of shoes because I also have black. Um, I have other black socks that are thicker for like that I typically would wear for the winter time. They're almost as if they were like tube, like tube socks, but black um, that I would wear sometimes. Um, let me get my shoe. <laughs> let me get this sock on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got the black sock on now. Let me take the stuffing from out of the shoe. Sometimes I've forgotten to do that, and then I stick my foot in there, and I'm like, ah, ow. Especially when you're not expecting it. There's a lot of stuffing in there, I guess, is to keep the shoe fairly open. See if there's anything else in there. All right, nope. Feels pretty nicely cushioned inside. Has a um, pretty nice cushion. I guess I won't. I mean, if I have to get an insole for it, I probably won't, depending on how tight this may feel on my foot. Like I said, I have a wide foot, man. You know, for a size 13. I'm a 13 wide. And these are 13 and a half wide, is what I ordered them for. And uh, slip them on here. And yeah, I can definitely see what the people were saying. Um, it is very tight around this area here, the toe area. It's very restricted. Um, after I give my classes, I'm definitely going to want to have to take this off because it's ouch. Pretty tight. And I got a 13 and a half, which is half a size bigger than what I would wear. Um, I could get away with not tightening the shoe at all. Um, the shoelaces. I'll probably just tie them up and just tuck them, tuck them inside somewhere so they're not hanging out. And standing up, I can definitely feel the tightness around the toe area. So yeah, their wide isn't really that wide. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to have to wear the shoe around the house for the next couple of days because um, I just got the offer to give the dance class. So I had like no time whatsoever to go around and in my area or around here. Uh, I'd highly doubt that I'm going to be able to find a dance shoe my size. Um, so, well, I guess uh, part of what they say is um, somewhat true about the size. Um, if you have a wide foot, I would, um, I mean, you can't really go too much bigger on the shoe because you're going to look ridiculous and it's not going to fit right and you're not, you're, when you dance your toes up here is just going to totally screw up the shoe and everything. So, um, if, and I barely ever buy shoes, um, Buy, I don't buy shoes online for this very reason. I'd rather have them in front of me where I can try them, where I can put them on, where I can walk around, test them out. Uh, but unfortunately, like I said, that's not something that I have the uh, luxury of around here because there are no places that we're going to have to order them anyway. And then I was going to have to try them out. And then if they didn't fit, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I'm not fully disappointed because, like I said, I'll wear them for a while, let them break in, because um, I know it'll loosen up at some point somewhere. Um, it'll stretch out. So I guess after I guess after a week or two of using them, because I only give classes one day out of the week, a total of four hours. Um, so I guess after maybe a week 
um, after my second day of giving classes, those four hours, I'll make a separate review and uh, let you know how these the Capizios worked out. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope this was useful. And I guess I'll get back to you guys uh, after I try this out. Have a great time. Bye-bye.